What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and it is now December. So if you were thinking of buying yourself a new or maybe an upgrade from your existing PC, then welcome again. Okay, so normally I would have like a target or specific price for my build recommendations, but this month will be the best value gaming or work PC. So again, I didn't have a specific price in mind and I actually just chose, in my opinion, the best value hardware or components right now in the market. So it is a bit pricey at most you would have to spend $1,100 or about 55,000 pesos. Now in my opinion this system is a perfect balance between work and play so if you're a professional or a streamer who does video editing, 3D rendering, of course uh, streaming to Twitch or any other multi-credit applications and occasionally playing games then this system is perfect for you. Of course expect solid 1080p gaming performance or even 1440p as long as you don't mind lowering the graphic settings in some games if you want to to achieve a consistent 60 fps with consistent frame times of course i'll be leaving the links to the performance benchmarks for the cpu and graphics card combination i chose um, in the description of this video also great future expandability if you ever plan on upgrading your components and lastly if you guys can find alternative cheaper and compatible parts maybe a different brand from what i'm gonna mention such as the graphics card memory storage um, except for the power supply okay never cheap out on the power supply then by all means buy the better or cheaper option and let's get started so i got the prices of the parts from dynaquest pc pc hub and easy pc but then again you might be able to find better prices somewhere else so first off for the processor we have the ryzen 5 1600 so at this point the 1600 doesn't need an introduction six cores 12 threads of course overclock it to get the most out of it so overclocking it to 3.8 to 4 gigahertz then you'll have a solid system for the years to come now while usually the included rates Air cooler that comes with D1600 is actually quite good for overclocking. I recommend buying a decent aftermarket cooler for much lower temps when operating, especially when overclocked. So for the CPU cooler, we have the Cooler Master Hyper 212. For the motherboard, we have the ASRock AB350 Pro 4. So you're pretty much all set with this motherboard, especially if you plan on using expansion cards such as a capture card or gigabit ethernet card with those extra PCIe slots. For the graphics card, we have the Colorful iGame GTX 1060 6GB version. Now this was the least expensive 6GB 1060. I could find but of course if you can find a cheaper option from Zotac, Palit or other brands then go for that. For memory we have a 2x8 gig kit of Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 2666. Again if you can find a cheaper and compatible option go for that. For storage we have a Western Digital Green 240 gig SSD and Western Digital Blue 1 terabyte hard drive. Powering all this is the Seasonic M12 to 520 watt 80 plus bronze fully modular power supply and housing all this is the the Raptoraki. And yeah, that's gonna do it for the December 2017 PC build recommendation. So that for me is the best value PC you can get right now. If you guys can wait until January 2018, memory and graphics card are actually expected to lower in price, hopefully. Of course, if you guys have any questions, just leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. As always, bookmark and use my Lazada affiliate link when buying at Lazada and donating to my Patreon if you guys don't mind to support my channel. Also, follow me on Twitter for updates and announcements. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.